Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to make a quick and easy valentine using the January 2020 small die of the month from Spellbinders. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on the subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. So last month when Spellbinders debuted their new monthly kits, I fell in love with the small die of the month die. And so I went ahead and resubscribed and then yesterday I got the notification that I had been charged for February's die. Well, I haven't even used January, so I wanted to come down today and make a card using it, so I felt just a little bit better about my purchase. If you want to check out this kit for yourself, I do have a link in the description box below. For $15 a month, you get a new die set shipped to your house. I think it's a pretty good deal, and you can cancel at any time. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought I would make a quick and easy Valentine's Day card. So I'll share with you here what I got out to create it with, and then we'll get into making the card. I will of course be using the small die of the month die. I already pre-cut and folded my card base. For my pattern papers, which will be pretty much the focal point of the card, I'm not going to add a whole lot more. I chose two papers from the Backyard Table 6x6 pad. I got this at Michael's a couple years ago, and this was the first time it had ever been opened. Again, I'm trying to use what I have and get out my stash. And finally, I got a piece of lightweight vellum out for my die. Let's go ahead and get started. Because this die is so large, it's about four inches wide, I'm going to have this floral pattern be the background of my card, and I'm actually going to cut it so it fills the entire card front. So I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter by five and a half. To help my vellum go through the die cutter, since it is a full sheet, I'm going to cut this down to four and a half inches wide. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this pink diagonal stripe paper. This is what I'm going to cut the L-O-V-E from. So while I was trying to get the vellum, the die cut part, out of the larger sheet, some of it did tear apart. It didn't seem to cut clear through. So I'm going to try it again with a little shim on my die cutter. All I did was just get out a scrap piece of paper from my recycle bin, fold it in quarters, and I'm going to place it underneath the clear plate. I'm hoping this will give it just a little bit more pressure and help get all those pieces cut nicely. Yes, that was so much easier. So that's a tip for you on fine dies like this. Maybe just add a shim if it's not cutting perfectly. And now I'm going to cut my letters from the pink paper. Let's get this card put together. I'm going to start by putting the floral on the front of my card base. And then I'm going to adhere my vellum die cut to the card front. I think I'll just put it in there centered. And since my letters here will cover up any adhesive that I put on the vellum, I'm just going to use my ATG to put some adhesive on there. Normally I would try to place something strategically to hide the adhesive, but since those die cuts will do that, that makes it super easy. To adhere my letters to my card front, I got out some mini dimensionals, and I believe these were left over from a paper pumpkin kit. You always get extra adhesive and sometimes die cuts and other stuff with the kit, so it's a great deal when you can get that out and use it. But these are small enough that they're going to be hidden behind the letters. Mm -hmm. 
while I'm putting adhesive on here, I wanted to put out a little challenge to you. If you have a die sitting in a package that you just had to have but haven't used yet, I would like you to get that out and create with it. And if you share that online anywhere, I would love to see it. So please leave a comment below with a link to your creation. For today's card, I decided to go ahead and just stop right there, but you could always add extra bling, you could add a sentiment stamp to the front, or you could add something on the inside. I just wanted to keep it real clean and simple and show you how quickly and easily you can create a card using a die that you haven't even used yet. If you enjoyed getting to see this process, I hope you'll give my video a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.